hello welcome back everyone thank you again for tuning in and watching me on my journey to ghana thank you also to my new subscribers i saw that i have some new ones so thank you all for joining me in this journey i appreciate you all for watching and for subscribing and just coming along with me so thank you all um, as promised, this video is the Ghana travel requirements for the COVID-19. So um, I have my checklist here. I'm going to put everything in the description box below. Um, I'll try to make this video as short as I can. Um, but I want to point, point out just a few details of what is required when it comes to the COVID-19 traveling requirements for Ghana in particular. Most of this will be um, also like the same, I believe for any country you go to, um, like as far as the PCR requirement tests and stuff like that. Um, but with Ghana, they have just a few um, extra things that I just wanna make mention of. Um, so we'll get started so the first thing is the COVID-19 test you have to take the COVID-19 PCR test the PCR is required for all international travel so the test has to be negative results of course um, and the timing of the test as well so make sure that the test is taken no more than 72 hours before your departure date, okay? Now, um, for example, with me, my flight is tomorrow, the 29th on Sunday. Now, an acceptable test for me would be no earlier than the 26th. So I took my test yesterday, which was Friday the 27th, um, and I got my results back today, um, the 28th. Now, when I did my test, I chose to do the next day results because I just assumed, all right, that is going to be um, closer within that 72 hour time frame. I just wanted to make sure I was like right in there, you know, um, but the good news is the airline sent me a checklist. So they actually told me based off my itinerary that an acceptable test should not be dated earlier than the 26th. So that was really good that they did that. I'm sure all the airlines do that um, for the international travel. Uh, so that was really nice. It just made it more simple and I knew exactly um, when to do my test, you know, book my appointment and all that. It was really, really good. Um, now, when you take your test, you're going to have one or two options. You can either do same day results or you can do next day results. Now, I did next day because like I said, my test was the 27th and um, your results should be, um, like I said, within the 72 hours. So I got my results back 28th. Like I said, I wanted it to be with as close in that 72 hours. So I just assumed, all right, 27th, get my um, results next day, the 28th. It was just, I just, that was what I went with. Um, but for example, if I decided to do my test today, I would do same day, um, you know, because that would be surely well within the 72 hours. So it's up to you, it's whatever you choose, as long as it's within that time frame of those 72 hours. Um, yesterday, the 27th was more feasible for me within my schedule, so that's why I decided to do it then and then get my results back today. Now, with the same day results, the lab, from what this lab that I went to, if you do same day, you'll probably get your results back within like four hours that same day. If you do next day, you'll get your results um, before noon. So um, I actually got my results this morning at 7 a.m. They emailed me directly my results. Um, and yeah, that was like bright and early. Um, and the lady that did my test, she did mention that it should be within the morning, but definitely before noon. So it all worked out. Of course, my results are negative. Um, now with the COVID-19 test results, the results will either say not detected or negative. Both mean the same thing. 
Um, detected, of course, means that um, it's a positive test, but non-detected or negative means um, no COVID-19. So um, this is my first one. So I don't know if they all say not detected or if some say not detected or some say negative. I don't know, but um, yeah, that's all good to go. Um, on the test results, there's going to be a QR code. All right. Now, this QR code is for presentation of the um, your flight at the airline. When you're boarding your plane, they're going to do a QR code scan of these results. Now, this QR code proves that your lab results are from a certified lab, um, that they're not falsified or anything like that. Um, this just proves that um, it's accredited and it's a certified lab. Now, I highly recommend that you follow the checklist that the airline gives you because this is according to their standard. And um, on that checklist is gonna be a link for you to find a certified lab within your area that will give you that QR code. I recommend you do that because you just want to have it as simple as possible, um, as easy as possible for you when you're boarding your flight. Um, so that's what I would recommend. Follow what the airline has told you um, because it's just, like I said, it's going to make a smooth onboarding for you when you're boarding your flight. Um, so with the test. Uh, the same day, I think, was $199. Um, now, this is according to the lab I went to. Um, and then the next day was $120. Like I said, I did the $120 um, next day um, because that was more comfortable for me within that 72-hour time frame. But it's up to you what you decide, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um the lab will be fully aware of all that's required there they do this often so um you won't have any trouble or anything like that um yeah so when you get there just tell them that you're traveling you need pcr tests another thing too i would highly recommend again that you go to a lab that does only pcr tests because there's some labs that will do a PCR and the rapid you want to make sure that um, you get the PCR one because that's the one that's required for traveling okay and that's another reason why I recommend you use the labs that the airline has um, done the certified with because it's just going to be smoother they're already aware at the lab of, okay, you're here for travel. Let me do your test quick and easy. I was in there like probably no more than 10 minutes. Like it was so quick and fast. Um, this was my first PCR test. And when they did it, it really shocked me because I wasn't expecting that. It's extremely uncomfortable, the tests. For those of you who have gotten it, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, and for those of you who haven't, just pace yourself, prepare yourself because it is an extremely uncomfortable test. Um, yeah, I didn't like it at all. <laughs> so just make sure that, um, yeah, you just be prepared. Okay. Uh, so you'll get your results back. When you get your results, they're going to email them to you. Um, and you're going to make sure that you print them off. Now I'm going to show you, um, my test. I'll cover, of course, I'll cover um, my, you know, information, but this is what the test is going to look like. So you see the results there. It says non-detected. Then at the top, you see the PCR code. Now, um, the, the QR code, I'm sorry, the QR code. So that's going to be what the airline scans, okay? And in this, um, on this test, it's going to show the information of the lab. It's going to also show your personal information. Now, on this, I recommend that you double check this when you get your lab results. Um, because actually, I checked mine this morning and my date of birth was incorrect. So I'm really glad I caught that before my flight tomorrow. Um, 
yeah the lab just i don't know you know human error it's okay um it was really simple when i called i just let him know and he fixed it right away and he sent me a revised um